welcome everybody. Um, I'm Max Morenberg from PACE. I will be talking a bit about what we think can happen in, in the smart home of the future, where we see a much clearer role for the operator as a federator between the different parties that offer a service, be it energy, like we've heard from Jean-Paul before, be it connectivity services, be it uh, multimedia. Now, I'll, I hope to take you along a bit on, uh, on, on, on that story. So what we see at the moment is basically three, four different worlds, all vertically uh, uh, managed within uh, your house. There is this silo for everything which is multimedia that takes care of your TV demands. There is a silo for connectivity, providing you telephony, providing you internet access. While the services throughout your house, there is a silo which is there for, uh, for, uh, for utilities. So like in the story we've, uh, story we've heard before, and last but not least, uh, one that's aiming at comfort in the most broadest sense of the wor word, being taking on, uh, taking on and off your lighting, um, taking care of your personal condition, like monitoring your heart rate. Uh, as for me at the moment, it's probably a bit, uh, a bit on the high side. And isn't there a way we can play around with that and find a way to break down those vertical silos, which are all, all by themselves very, very logical, historically explainable, but also hampering innovation and, and getting us to the promise of a smart house. So we see in all of the domains, we see a, a, a quite a number of players all taking it, taking a shot at it from, from, from their own perspective in the utility side. Companies like EDF, as we've just heard, uh, Voltat, uh, Voltalis, connectivity over here in the Netherlands, KPN, but you all know the players in your countries, free in France, Deutsche Telekom mm -hmm. in Germany, which we heard uh, two stories uh, before, um, comfort and security with Comfy, which is a way to, 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 to manage your central heating, u weight which is much more about how to take care of your person in, uh, of, of your personal health with uh, uh, an integrated balance, with integrated uh, devices to monitor uh, your, uh, your, your heart rate and a, and, a, and a personalized advice that comes with it. Or in the multimedia part, all the players we know, like Sky, like Apple with their, IPT, with their TV solution, or Google. Um, there is a whole slew of different protocols, uh, and it's, I'm probably not doing any justice to the entire range, uh, the entire diversified uh, sector in there. <laughs> it's 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 the standard joke. There is so many standards to choose from. Uh, yes, there is so many standards to choose from. We probably need to take it a bit differently here and find a way to integrate all of them to get to what the end user wants. The end user doesn't care about our different shots at getting into your house, supplying you a service. They don't care about the different protocols. They probably don't even know them. They're looking for a single point of contact or as a colleague, put it, a single throat to choke. Uh, if things go wrong, we want somebody to be responsible for it. Somebody we can yell at and say, why the hell is my service not doing what it should be doing? So they're also looking for simplicity. It should just work, like electricity, like water. It is, it is essential to the way we live. We don't want to spend any time and effort on getting the thing to work. So it means we need things like remote management, an operator or somebody else that's looking into our houses where things go wrong, proactively fix them if there is anything which tends to go wrong. We need to talk about zero touch. We need to talk about cross domain. In the end, it is about breaking down those different silos and making it much more into a horizontal playing field. Um, and it probably also means all devices should be managed from, uh, from a single uh, location. And in the end, not the least important, um, I want what's best for me. I want to have the freedom to choose the best in class. It might be the F, it might be somebody else, but I want to have that choice. So to get to the zest of the presentation, we feel if you look to what's happening inside the house at the moment, the telcos are definitely well positioned to, uh, to transform these current day silos into, into a horizontal platform. You might ask yourself why they are already a trusted point of contact. All of your communication services are going over their networks. There is a 
a payment relationship with them, you've trusted them with your bank accounts, and you probably, even there probably is some complaints, you're probably in general rather happy about them. And like for electricity, you only look at the bill, you complain it's too high, and you give them a shout when it's not working as you think it should. So they are familiar with things like simplicity, they are familiar with life cycle management, cross-border service integration, with their aim at uh, delivering you a triple play service. So it all started with telephony, internet a bit later on. Now almost all of them are delivering a, fru a true triple play service, including your, your, your media uh, requirements, and already doing a part of the federation. As we see, for instance, in Germany, where there were the traditional broadcasters, which are now saying, well, why do we need to buy our own devices? Why can't we go to a Deutsche Telekom and subscribe, for instance, and, and, and ask Deutsche Telekom to transmit our services, so their traditional satellite services, over their IP network, and for them, in the, in, in the entire picture, spend less money because they don't have to buy the boxes. That's something the Deutsche Telekom or another operator will take care of. So, having said that, they're probably uniquely positioned to get into a space where we're not talking about an access gateway or a setter box or a power management device. We're talking about a services gateway there for all of the services you have inside your house. What they probably don't have is the scope, the breadth to take care of all of that by themselves. They aren't a power company. <coughs> they aren't delivering water and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and other services. So they will need some help in bringing together all those different protocols and all those different players which are, um, which are out there in the, um, in, in, in the entire smart home world. So this is a very abstract picture, but I hope you get the zest of it anyway. So what you see at the bottom is, is a number of devices which can be from a whole, do, uh, a whole range of different players. So a power meter from EDF, um, a balance from U or U8, all connected inside your house over a protocol like Zigbee or Z-Wave or Tech or Leaf or uh, for that matter, going into a device uh, specific abstraction layer, meaning as soon as you connect one of your devices inside your house, the gateway or the service gateway will detect, hey, there is a new device. It'll find out how exactly this device functions, what brand it is, what drivers there are needed for that device, as we all know from the Windows world, um, there isn't anybody having problems anymore installing the drivers for a third party USB drive, for instance. And we'll take those rather particular drivers and we'll transform them into something which is much more generic. So taking them out over to your 69 into a remote management system. So there is a third party or the operator which can have a look into your data, which can help deciding when your appliances should turn on, uh, which can do the big data crunching, which can help in fixing any problems. So it's taking in, in the layer one up, it's taking care of the device management, the resource management, the scripting for the different devices you have inside your house. And last but not least, uh, detecting which devices are actually there and, and how to pilot them. So all of that then goes into a service layer, a services API if you want. Um, allowing to unify those different approaches and under one umbrella, making those devices which are inside your house, which are just dumb devices, without the service that goes with it, into something transformable into a real service. So with a development kit, with possibilities to do the payment, with an offering to, to select your services, almost like an application store, but uh, for services, so a services store probably, and the web interfaces that go with it. So hopefully all of this results in a seamless services. So what you see over here is just an example of what could be done. It's probably a very basic example, not showing all the breadth and scope of, of such an approach, but where you integrate a multiple best of breed players into a single application. So instead of 15 or 17 different applications sitting on a smartphone, to one to control the heating, one to control the air conditioning, one for the fridge, and so on, so on. You have one place where you control all of your services. If there is a need for a new service, fine, no problem. You'll 
almost download your service or subscribe to it uh, on the go and have it added to the services portfolio you already have. We think we have a toolkit that can help with it. We think we have the mechanisms based on our experience from the set box world and the gateway world where we can detect those devices, where we can make an abstraction from their particular settings into something which is much more generic and send it out to remote management systems and applications to, for further treatment.